Ray's going to go ahead and give it a shot. So Ray, you, you, you want part way? Yeah, I got to the to that center part more. So what did it look like from out there? It looked deep and it's fast. The big concern is the big underwater boulders that we could get hung up on. And I had to remember that in the back of my head someone was telling me, I gotta go home this When we had dropped off the mail, we had inquired about the route to the glacier. And we'd been advised to exercise caution because sometimes the river isn't safe to cross past the center gravel bar. So, much to our disappointment, we decided to not take the unnecessary risk at an unfamiliar location where help, if needed, was quite far away. Well, Ray went out to the uh, gravel bar, and uh, once Ray got out there, he looked at the other side and said uh, it was deep and swift moving. And we knew we were in the shallow area already. So we have decided that uh, this is the end of the trail for us. Swift moving water, yeah, a risk we don't have to take. That's looking like rain straight in front of us there, right? See that? Got our polyby bird back in front of the jeep. Looks like my uh, links for my sway bars, uh, pushings on them are getting pretty worn. So those can be replaced later. Nothing critical right now. Shouldn't be anyway. And uh, we'll continue driving. Pretty view, pretty, pretty view. Pretty good sized river, me. Denali Highway was breathtaking. Though we chose not to ford it, that was especially true for the spur to the McLaren River. We'd spent tonight in Healy, Alaska, 
taking advantage of the popular 49th State Brewery for both dinner and suds. The next day we were off to Fairbanks, where we'd spend a couple days catching our breath, working on our photographs and videos, and tending to necessary chores on the Jeeps. We spent two nights in the Fairbanks area. This allowed us not only to catch up on needed maintenance, including changing oil in both Jeeps, but also allowed time to visit the static aircraft display at Isleson Air Force Base. After that, we were off on the Dalton Highway, commonly called the Hall Road. Destination, the Arctic Ocean. here on the base for the night. We're both retired Air Force, of course, and uh, doing a little work catching up on the Nexus 7. I use that as you've seen in the videos for topo mapping. There's not enough room on my Nexus 7. It doesn't use removable media so uh, to hold all the maps. So uh, I have to delete some of the maps partway through the trip and transfer the rest of the maps. That's part of the gut work of making an adventure like this happen. Ray, what you got there? Well, Mark, you remember that scraping noise I had? I got into my uh, rotor pretty bad here, as you can see. Oh, so you got new brakes on? Yes, I did get new brakes on, and we're going to proceed as planned to Dead Horse. Outstanding. the turn off for the Dalton Highway and here's the beginning of the James W. Dalton Highway. The other end of this is Dead Horse Alaska. 175 miles ahead, turn left on Winter Road. Oh, man. 
show us exactly where we're going to be relative to the pipeline. Look at this strange film on the Jeep caused by that calcium chloride that they were using on the road surface back there. And I have sound turned on. Yes. got a dead battery. What's the matter, Ray? I got a dead battery. Dead battery? It was a beautiful drive along the Dalton Highway, but a short stop to shoot a little video had become a bit of a problem. Bad battery just a few miles south of the Arctic Circle was not exactly good news, especially since we were headed further north. Another 350 miles to the Arctic Ocean, in fact. Did you ask if they take the discover card? <laughs> I did ask, and she does take it, unfortunately. Oh no, you're in trouble now. Yes.